Good morning. Thank you for joining me for today's Facebook Live. My name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne in Australia. This is the card that we're going to make today. It's a really simple fun fold. So it opens up and opens up like that. So pretty simple, but I think it's really effective. Let's go through the products that we're using today. So first up, the Earthen Textures Bundle so stamp set. And then it has coordinating dies. And I don't know how Stampin' Up! manages to stay so sort of current and on trend because I'm seeing these kind of cutouts or I don't know what they are, leaves, decorations, whatever, all over the shops at the moment. Now, I decided that I'm going to change colours as per usual, but also step this one up slightly. So we're going to add a few layers. And on my top layer, I'm using this new brick embossing folder. And the DSP in this suite is magic because it's all very brown. But it works for, you know, with the name of the sweet earthen textures. And the reverse sides have your different colours on them. So lots of pretty peacock, turquoisey kind of colours and some of the blues. Okay. There are some fun things that you can do with this DSP, but I'll show you that as we go along. Okay, we have one problem. Let me just shout and get my... I've left my ribbon behind and I really want that ribbon just to, to do that. So one minute. Sincere apologies for that. It's a bit of a problem when you have your video set up separate to where you actually got all your stuff spread all over. But now we're ready to start. For my card base this time, I'm using Early Espresso. And I've just got my piece of cardstock that I've cut in half lengthwise. And we're going to... Fold that in half. Now, very simple cut with my trimmer. It's going to be, um, I guess, a, a landscape card, which is opening that way. So I'm going to cut from my fold down to the bottom right corner. that piece you can always use that for something else if you cut it down into a strip or you could get a circle or a square or something out of it and like I said changed up the colors of the designer series paper slightly so I'm going to use that one and I don't think that there's a specific right way or wrong way for that we're going to use that one at the back and I'm going to use this one on my flap so again we need to cut this I'm not sure whether there's a specific, you know, right way or wrong way. It looks to me like you've got, if these are um, brown leaves or something, you could have stems going up that way. But I think it's abstract enough that if you're turning it, it doesn't really matter. But we'll go with what I think is the right way. And just make sure when you're cutting your paper, if it does have specific direction, we want to be cutting that we're going 
that way. So I'm going from top left to the bottom right corner. But like I said, with this piece, I don't know that it's that important. All right. Now we can stick our designer series paper onto um, onto our card and just trying to find a glue that actually wants to come out of the the bottle. Let's just see here. I think sometimes I forget to put the lids on the glue and then it gets a bit dingy and then I need to get better about putting the lids on because I have so many glues that don't want to come out. It's, I seem to have an adhesive problem. It's either the glues or the dimensionals. There's always one of them that, that has to fight with me. going to work here then I'm going to use the bottom again but I really there we go okay right glue all over my finger but all right so just be careful because we don't want to put glue on that side we want glue on the side that we want stuck oh hi Carolyn Thanks for joining me. There we go. And that one on the inside. And I will put all these measurements up in the comments. I just didn't have time to do that this morning. So now we have another piece. And here's where I said I'm going to add some layers. So this time I'm using the grey granite. And we're going to fold that in half. I'm going to stick my embossed piece of white on top. So we've just got those layers happening and this is a lovely embossing folder i was really sad when the old brick em embossing folder retired but this one is different to what that one was but it's really nice and i just thought it would give us some really nice texture um, behind behind those pots okay Now let's, oh goodness, I am really not as organized as I thought I was today because I've just realized that I don't have my grey granite ink pad with me which I wanted to stamp the pot but I have stamped it and cut it out and I'm just making very sure because it should here yeah see there it is i actually was prepared but i just want to show you the stamp it's an amazing stamp because if you stamp really dark it will look like it's dsp the first time i used this i was at a retreat and we stamped with um pretty peacock and I was making the card and I was going, I have a problem here because I'm missing a piece of DSP. And then somebody said to me, no, no, you need to stamp that. So it's a really lovely stamp. It gives you really nice definition. And I just want to show you this little pot die does cut it out. But it does cut it a little bit narrower than your stamping. So you can see there where I've cut it out. So don't stress that it doesn't fit exactly. It then just gives you that your, your detail on the pot is going all the way to the edge. 
without without having any white or anything around it and I think that's probably why it looked like it was DSP just because it was so well defined okay now I have cut out my pots and the really nice thing about this paper is that you can cut your pots straight out of the paper so it then gives you that textured look on the pot so this one is a bit of more grey grain out which I've gone with that one but when I cut oh why don't you want to close when I cut that one, I cut that straight off this piece of designer series paper. And obviously you can position it that you have the colors on the pots lighter or darker wherever you want it. And while we're talking about cutting out the pots, the other piece of paper that I wanted to show you is this one. Now, this one, when you look at it, it looks like it's a little bit strange. But what works amazingly with this piece of paper is that pot over there is cut out of that paper here's the one that i've cut for today and it'll work with any of these pots so if you take your pot and put it you know like that then it's going to cut it that you've got that sort of edging on the pots coming down for your longer ones you could have it you know like that if you wanted or higher up a bit more texture so this piece of paper is awesome i don't know it could i haven't played with it enough i suppose but it could be nice just to use that as a background piece but for cutting out your your textured colored pots it works beautifully right back to to my design over here now we could stick this down first but i'm going to put on some of my pots and then stick it just so that i can see where things are going easier and if i need to trim anything off we've got the edges to trim off now this pot is too long for for this so all i'm going to do is cut it down a little bit and it's a little bit longer than that one but so what that's fine i'm going to leave that one there okay so we'll pop that on there and you could have something coming out of this but because it's so tall compared to to my little card size i decided that i wasn't going to have anything out of that that's just a pot standing there on its own but then we've got my pot that I've stamped and mm. oh goodness I really need to get my life sorted out that I have um, all my stuff together okay I don't have the bit for the top now that and that was what i ran to get the ribbon for so that it would work for the top okay that is this little piece that cuts out that bit that goes on the top so what i had is I'm going to just show you what I did and I'll go and add it afterwards. When you've cut this out, it cuts with those little holes. Now, I don't know if it's going to work with this because obviously the die cuts slightly smaller or um, your cutout piece is a little bit smaller than the die. But what I actually did was I threaded my, my twine through the holes there and then put it together. So... Like I said, I'll go and I'll add that on later. But I've cut out my little leafy bits. Now this is cut from the rose gold. I'm having a sort of, I love the rose gold at the moment. And again, this pot is quite 
tall in relation to our card so you just want to be careful you don't want your your front to go over because otherwise when you open up the card you're going to bend it so just looking at that i think that i need to put my glue along there and we're going to stick that so that the pot is sitting over here and we can just cut off this bit that's hanging over what i will do is i'll go and i'll just stick that that extra bit on the top afterwards and then post a picture of the finished card so that you can see what it looks like with the extra piece on top and then our cutout bit i've cut out some of these frilly pieces um, There's another one. Alright, and we're just going to put a little bit of glue at the back here. behind that one there we go all right now I just want to stamp one more little leafy bit inside my my card so this is what's going to go on the inside and I'm going to stamp it in the early espresso these feathery bits are lovely as well we may just stamp off there we go. just a very subtle image inside I've got things balanced and they all decided to go for a run. Alright, so that's going inside over here. We're going to stick this little pot flat as well so just roughly judge where you want it that you're going to have the three sitting now before i put the stuff on dimensionals i'm going to stick this into my card so to stick it in i'm putting glue on the back and you just need to roughly eyeball where you want it to sit. Now, what I do is when I line it up, I line it up so that um, it's sitting against the edge of the card. So you can have it as high or as low. That I want that to go a little bit lower, I think, so that it's kind of centered top and bottom. And yeah, we know I always have a, 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 an issue getting anything straight, but this glue's drying faster than, than what I've got it straight. Okay. And just make sure that it is closing nicely over your edge. Okay, I'm just trying to lift that up ever so slightly. There we go, and then some dimensionals. All right, today just seems to be one of those days where nothing is going right for me. And I did actually have dimensionals here because I made sure that I had them because they always hide. Okay, so there we go found them 
if you get irritated enough then things come back and I quite actually like these colors the different as opposed to that the dark colors look quite nice and then I've stamped my thank you sentiment here because I knew I was bat gonna battle to get it straight and I've also this time I decided maybe I just want a slight edging of the the gray granite behind it so let's see if we're adding layers let's add layers to everything and some dimensionals again now this time just be careful because it's going to be sitting on that pot so we don't want dimensionals on that end because otherwise um, you're going to have dimensionals on top of dimensionals and it's going to slope because you've already got that pot on dimensionals so just dimensionals on the on the other side a bit of glue where it's going to sit on that pot and we'll pop our thank you over there and of course we have to have some bling so these are some of my favorites at the moment the adhesive back sparkle gems and i think because we're using the gray i'm actually going to go with some of these little silver gems this time there we go all right so Oops. there's our two cards which color do you prefer the different colors um, and of course it's going to smudge pop open and you've got your inside to write okay so thank you for joining me today I hope that you've enjoyed this card and I will see you again next week until then have a good week bye